The stabbing of a Muslim woman in Northwest Harris County earlier this month is considered a hate crime by the sheriff's office. The victim was attacked by a man shouting anti-Islamic slurs. That case and the violence at this white supremacist rally in Virginia last summer leave little doubt about the motivations of the people involved. But there are other organizations identified as hate groups in this civil rights report that claim the label is unfair. Leaders are pushing back, saying their beliefs do not equal hate. Tonight, investigator Robert Arnold is taking a closer look at this report, and he's revealing how many hate crimes are committed here in Texas. Religion, politics, gender roles, a crowd of ideas, beliefs, and ideologies. We are here once again. But when does belief become hate? I was very angry. For Mark Crawford, the answer was a note taped to his pickup in the driveway of his Willowbrook area home. Who in the hell did this and why? Investigators never caught who did it. You pray that it's over, but there's so much going on that, you know, deep down inside, you know, that it's really not. The Southern Poverty Law Center, a civil rights organization based in Alabama, tracks hate groups nationwide. The SPLC reports 66 hate groups in Texas, over a dozen in the Houston area. Some groups and their members strongly disagree with the label or being lumped in with the likes of the Ku Klux Klan and neo-Nazis. They try to use the hate group label to shut you up. Houston attorney Jared Woodville is with the Conservative Republicans of Texas, a group that opposes gay marriage, abortion, and in 2015, help defeat Houston's Equal Rights Ordinance. His organization is labeled a hate group by the SPLC, but Woodfill says his beliefs do not equal hate. We should be standing up and having a vigorous, spirited debate over what we believe. And there's nothing wrong with that. Free speech is at the heart of this debate. SPLC's map shows the Yahushua ministry in Livingston. Its website preaches the white race is the chosen race and race mixing is an abomination. There is no church, just a P.O. box. When we tracked down Pastor Bill Patterson to a house outside town, he wouldn't talk on camera, but told us, we don't hate anybody. We're not out protesting anybody. This is what we believe in the Constitution gives us the right to say that. Director of Intelligence for the SPLC, Heidi Barrick, says groups aren't listed because of belief. We only list groups if they demonize populations. We tried contacting other groups on the map, like the new Black Panther Party for Self-Defense, Israel United in Christ, and the Great Millstone, groups accused by SPLC of being anti-Semitic and anti-white. We didn't get a response. We have, over the last two years, seen a rise in the number of hate incidents. Southwest Regional Director for the Anti-Defamation League, Dion Gross says a lot of those incidents involve bullying at schools and propaganda on college campuses. It hurts people. It could lead to violence in the future. Over the last three years, the Houston Police Department and the Harris County Sheriff's Office have documented nearly 50 hate crimes, everything from assaults to graffiti. Statewide, the Texas Department of Public Safety reports between 160 and nearly 200 hate crimes a year. It's not specific to one group. Milton Martin is captain of HPD's Criminal Intelligence Division. He says proving a crime is motivated by hate can be tough. Oftentimes you find yourself basically trying to get into the head of the offender and determine what they were thinking at the time they committed the act. Dina Marks says that's why the ADL works to stop hate before it becomes a hate crime. There are people who don't understand how deeply hate hurts. Houston police also recently announced they're updating policies and training to better protect and investigate crimes against members of the LGBTQ community. On click2houston.com, we also have information on where in Texas hate crimes have been documented, what motivated these crimes, and who is most often a target. Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.